You see it in TV shows all the time, the guy or girl falling for their best friend. As you watch each episode and their love grows for one another, you root for their story to bloom until they actually become a couple. But what happens when you find yourself in the exact same situation? Here are the seven stages of falling in love with your best friend. One, the deep conversations. There's a reason why they're your best friend, right? You can tell them just about anything. But now as you unravel your next secret, feelings and vulnerability, you're wondering if they'd be more than just good best friend material. After all, no one understands you as much as they do. Two, accidental flirting. Whether they let you lean on their shoulder for a good cry or surprise you with your favorite candy on your bad days, you're wondering if they're just being nice. I mean, isn't there a fine line between friendliness and flirting? Now you're trying to figure out if these are hints that they might be interested in you. Three, the reminders. Both of you hang out all the time, so when people start commenting on your Facebook or Instagram, asking what's going on between the two of you, it might start to annoy you. But when you see something your friend will love, like a movie or book, you'll start to think of them more often and wish you were more than just friends. Maybe people's comments are not off anymore. Four, the green monster. Do you get jealous easily? When your best friend starts going on date nights or meets new faces at the bar, you can't help but feel possessive. It might be hard for you to feel happy when you see them with other people. Five, the truth. So you finally come to terms with your feelings. There's no way of denying how you feel about your best friend. How do you explain the nights you couldn't sleep because they were on your mind or why you always feel the sudden urge to drop all your initial plans just to hang out with them? Six, the confession. Ah, congratulations, the two of you finally managed to realize that you like each other more than just friends. But now the both of you are wondering if this will jeopardize your friendship that took years or months to build. It's awkward because you're not sure which direction to take. Seven, the what ifs. This is the final stage that best friends enter when they finalize their decision together. Depending on the circumstances like timing, life goals, and future relocations, some people agree that it would be best if they just remained friends, and that's okay. You met them for a reason and the connection you built will always be treasured. Meanwhile, others take the exciting risk and finally ask each other out. That could be you. But whatever your outcome is, know that best friends are hard to come by. Cherish all the memories you've made and always be honest with your feelings. I love my best friends and I hope you love yours too. Good luck! Are you falling for your best friend? Have you seen our video on unhealthy crushes? Here's a link to the video. Please subscribe if you want to join our community of Psych2Goers. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, my name is Yumi and I am one of the partners of Psych2Go. Today I'm not only here to introduce myself, but to also introduce you guys to our amazing Psych2Go magazines. Don't they look wonderful? These magazines were all created by our amazing and talented magazine manager, Emogen. She put her all her time and hard work just to create this for you guys so everyone can have a little piece of Psych2Go wherever you guys are. So we are going to do a little giveaway right now. So we're going to pick three winners. Um, there's no deadline to this at all. And all you got to do is three little things, okay? Number one is to follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Number two is either take a picture of, you know, this picture right here, a screenshot, or any picture of Psych2Go and hashtag Psych2Go on your um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever it is. And number three, uh, we're going to have a link down below of a really short questionnaire for us to connect with you and get to know you guys a little bit more, okay? But that's about it. Um, we want to thank you for all your support through our amazing, amazing psychology company. And we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you and thanks for tuning in. Bye.